another video on easy math okay in previous video on sequences and series we learned about formulas for sum of infinity terms and sum of n terms in a gp okay today let's derive them and let's discuss about harmonic progression okay now first sum of infinity terms how can we define sum of infinity terms okay there are so many ways to do that today let's discuss one of those ways it will be an interesting way okay first let us imagine s infinity be the sum of infinity terms and that equals a plus a into r power 1 plus a into r square plus and so on until infinity times okay another thing infinity is just a symbol it is not a value means infinity minus 1 or infinity minus 2 or such operations will give the same outcome of infinity okay now how can we solve this will we get any idea if we see the question s infinity is equal to a plus a into r power 1 plus a into r square plus and so on until infinity times now if you observe carefully here if we take from first term it is a a into r power 1 a into r square if we take from second term it is a r power 1 a r square a r cube if we take off r from that then it becomes the same series so if we take a plus r common from the remaining terms it becomes a plus r into a plus a r plus a r square and so on until infinity times okay if you observe carefully this s infinity is equal to a plus a r power 1 plus a r square is similar to this term inside the brackets a plus a r plus a r square plus and so on until infinity times so we can write s infinity in place of that so s infinity is equal to a plus r into s infinity if we send r into s infinity that side it becomes s infinity comes common it becomes s infinity into 1 minus r here remains same if we send 1 minus r to the other side we got the formula s infinity is equal to a plus 1 minus r an easy one right okay now let's see up to n terms okay it will be somewhat similar s n is equal to a plus a r plus a r square plus and so on until a r power n okay now you may think there also you can take r common in the same way but it will become very very difficult first let's see the given derivation and then let's discuss what happens if you take this same way okay now as you can see sum of n terms here let sn be the sum of n terms and sn is equal to a plus a r plus a r square plus a r cube plus and so on until a r power n minus 1 okay now if we take r into sn then it will be r into sn is equal to a r plus a r square plus a r cube plus and so on until a r power n what you have observed here before we we take r common but here we multiplied with r this is somewhat reverse to that right so then if you subtract sn from r into sn then it becomes a r power n minus a because a r here gets cancelled out with the a r in sn and a r square in r into sn cancels out with a r square in sn similarly a r cube and so on until a r power n minus 1 also cancels out uh, but in r into s power n a into r power n remains and in sn a remains so you'll get r minus 1 into sn is equal to a r power n minus a if we take a common from that it becomes a into r power n minus 1 so sn is equal to a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 okay now as we said before let's discuss what happens if we take r common will we get struck out or what will happen okay now then it becomes 
a into a r you took r common it becomes the same but at last you will get a r power n minus 2 which is s n minus 1 so we don't know s n minus 1 if you write s n minus 1 we will get the same with s n minus 2 and n minus 3 and so it continues it continues until s n ok you may ask then we can substitute the value of s1 which is nothing but a if we substitute a in that then it will be s2 is equal to a plus or sn s1 ok r into s1 means which is nothing but a r a plus a r if we substitute that in s3 then it becomes a plus a r plus a r square and so on and sn you will get the same so it is impossible to derive this in that way it is just possible for infinity because infinity minus 1 is also infinity ok now let's discuss about harmonic progression harmonic progression what is a harmonic progression arithmetic progression it is some geometric progression it is product then what is harmonic progression is it the power or the exponent no it is not such thing it is just the reciprocal of a arithmetic progression okay now arithmetic progression means it is just sum adding a constant term geometric progression means those are multiples they are not multiples exactly but they are somewhat similar to multiples then harmonic progression is similar to fractions okay now if we take some ap like 1 3 5 9 and so on and ap of odd numbers then the gp of that will be 1 by 3 1 by 1 1 by 3 1 by 5 1 by 9 1 by 11 and so on it will be the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the arithmetic progression okay it is the reciprocal of the arithmetic progression then what will be the nth term of a hp or a harmonic progression it is simple it will just be 1 by a plus n minus 1 d then what is the harmonic mean how to find the harmonic mean of two terms a and b okay it is inverse of a p then let us imagine harmonic mean of a and b let us imagine the arithmetic progression or the in arithmetic progression it is reciprocal of harmonic progression right so arithmetic progression it will be 1 by a and 1 by b then what is the arithmetic mean it will be 1 by a plus 1 by b by 2 two terms are 1 by a and 1 by b their arithmetic mean 1 by a plus 1 by b by 2 then what is the harmonic mean harmonic mean it will be inverse of arithmetic mean so it is 2 by 1 by a plus 1 by b it is pretty confusing right okay this is only harmonic mean is this confusing then how much confusing will be sum of n terms okay sum of n terms is not confusing it is nearly impossible but we can get the approximation but you will understand about that in higher levels okay guys this is for today's video if you like the video hit that like button smash that subscribe button ring that bell icon to notify you when i release a new video if you have any doubts comment down below i will answer them in the next video okay next video on sequence of sun series to discuss about some special series they are arithmetic geometric progression Okay, what are these arithmetic progression, geometric progression, we completed this, but it is a new progression, it 
is the combination of arithmetic and geometric progression means like for example if we take one and the next one it will be added with a common difference and then multiplied with a common ratio okay we will discuss about that in next video okay bye see you later